In this video, I will show you what you'll need to do after installing another hard drive on your Windows system. So before you can start downloading your Steam games onto it, you're going to need to create a Steam folder onto that drive. So if you're watching this video because you were getting error messages like new Steam library can't be root or fail to create new Steam library, hopefully this video will help you. So in the upper left hand corner, we'll select Steam and we'll select Settings. From here, we'll click on the Downloads on the left hand menu here. If you're not already there, select that. Now we'll click on the Steam Library folders. So here, the C drive was my original hard drive, which was getting low on space. So then I installed another hard drive or SSD drive. It's under the letter Z. As you can see, I've already created the Steam Library folder in this drive. So you might not have Steam Library on there, or you probably won't, right? So what you need to do is create a folder in that section before you can install games. So what you're going to need to do is go to add library folder and you're going to look for your new hard drive, SSD drive. So there's my default C drive, that's another drive there. So I want the letter Z, that's the new drive that I installed. So select that. Okay, so after you've selected your drive, we're going to have to add a new folder. So go ahead and click new folder. And I just left my default Steam library, but you can call it whatever you want. Once you're done, just hit OK and you should be good to go. Now remember to, when you're installing games, remember to select that drive as well. And it's not gonna let me create this folder because I already have one, so there it is. So once you have that, you should be good to go with your new hard drive. Okay, so now that we got that taken care of, we should be able to download a game onto our new drive. So I'm gonna install Dirt Rally 2.0 as an example. So let's hit install. And from here, you wanna find that new drive that you installed and created the new Steam folder, like so, and just hit next and you're good to go. Okay, so that's the video. Hope this was helpful for you. If it was, please hit the like button. Thanks for watching. See you next time.